China says it plans to recruit civilian astronauts for its military-backed space program and boost the number of its missions. The China Manned Space Engineering Office says its astronaut trainees will help build an independent space station they hope to have in orbit by 2022. Well, the signals from the China space mission of a growing presence in space compares favorably with signals from what scientists are describing as a cosmic dawn. A moment when the universe's earliest stars emerged. National Geographic astronomy columnist Andrew Fazekas is with us. Andrew, good morning. You could say that this has been one of the biggest cosmic cold cases. That's right. This is really uh, an amazing detective story of sorts where we are literally peering back to the time in the universe when the very first generation of stars turned on and began to shine. And so we're looking uh, back, uh, um, so far back, that we're, we're literally like 180 million years after the Big Bang. And you have to, to put that into perspective, right now we're th sitting 13.8 billion years from the, big, the time of the Big Bang. So looking back, this, this is as, about as close as we've ever come to the point of the, the, the start of the universe that we think is the start of the universe. So we're seeing the coalescence of uh, very primordial gases of hydrogen and helium coming together uh, and forming these very early baby stars. And what this is telling scientists is giving us a clue of not just how stars are formed, but also how galaxies coalesce uh, galaxies which are basically giant islands of millions of stars coming together, forming things that will become uh, very familiar to us, like the Milky Way galaxy, and formation of planets as well. You need to have these stars, the first generation of stars, live and then eventually die, and second and third generations to form with heavier elements like iron and gold and things like that that help form rocky planets like the Earth that we live on today. Mm. One of the most essential, if not the most essential, element of life on any planet or anything in space is water. And, and uh, Andrew, I understand that there's been water discovered uh, in, in large amounts on an exoplanet of Saturn. That, well, this is a, a, a fantastic, uh, uh, another detective story. Thanks to the Hubble Space Telescope, which just keeps on giving us discoveries. It really is the discovery machine. It found a planet 700 light years away from Earth that's about the same size as Saturn. Kind of looks like Saturn, we think. However, it has three times as much water as, as we thought would it be incorporated in a planet like Saturn. Three times as much. This has left scientists very puzzled because we don't understand how it could form so much water. But this is exciting because it's telling us there are very different ways that planets can form. It's actually a conf this confusion is something that re is, is, is a boon for scientists because this means there's a, so many varieties of ways to form planets that are nothing like how planets form in our solar system. So it increases the chance by finding so much water on an alien world like this that there could be uh, places that are habitable, uh, suitable for life. Uh, with all these mysteries in space, I would also consider this to be job security for good folks like you. National <laughs> Geographic astronomy columnist Andrew Fizekas helping us to sort out these new discoveries this week. Always a pleasure, my friend. My pleasure. Clear skies.